Hi Aries, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. Keep in mind, this is general, so it may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, feel free to check your other placements. What's going on with Aries when it comes to love? Change. Oh my gosh. Regrets. New love and single. Oh my gosh. Someone may regret how they treat you when they see you move on from them. That's the first message I'm getting. There may be a major change in the type of person you attract next. Maybe some of you have been doing the work. You attract someone amazing. Let's see, what do we have for Aries? Ooh, okay. <laughs> Shy, tongue-tied, nervous, doesn't know what to say, overthinks responses, double-check spelling, nail-biting, timid. I don't want no shag. No, that's not how it goes. It's it's, I don't want no fly guy. I just want a shy guy. That's what I'm hearing that song. What's her name again? Oh, she's Jamaican. Oh, I can't remember. Type in shy guy. Um, bad boys soundtrack. Lot of mercy, mercy, mercy. Okay, yeah, that song. So I'm getting excited because I love this type of person for you. Someone who is just likes you so much that they're so shy. You know, unlike the cocky people who are just like, ugh. This person may reach out to you on social media. They may be looking at you on social media. Um, it could be that you post about this and an ex sees that you've moved on on social media. I'm getting so many messages from that. Okay, let's see. Sweeping, sweeping shit under the rug. Okay. Uh, okay, that could be how your ex behaved. Maybe they would sweep things under the rug. I'm hearing like, okay, it's all fun and games until she's with someone else. Or it's all fun and games until someone else is making her laugh. So this person, your ex may have been, you know, taking you for granted, whether you're male or female, taking you for granted, sweeping things under the rug, didn't feel like working anything out until they see you with this new, cute, shy person. Yeah. So we have, I always feel like somebody is watching me. Be careful of fake pages. You see that social media so this is a serious message. I've never seen these two come out together. So there is definitely, 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 definitely someone from your past looking at you on social media, most likely with a fake page, especially if they have a lot of pride and don't want you to know that they're looking at that, that they're looking at you. Ah, oh, Aries, let's see. What do we have for Aries? Um, the person on Aries' mind, why are the energies between Aries and that person on their mind? This may be that this may be the X. I don't know. Whoever is on your mind is gonna show up. Person on Aries mind. Dude. Okay. Someone feels stuck. Someone's stuck on the breakup that happened between you two stuck on the fact that you guys um that your relationship went bad kind of like they're feeling like you got away they feel stuck on you and they feel like you're just free and happy without them that's the vibe i'm getting they could be gemini they could be sagittarius you have been patient with yourself haven't been given the wrong people your energy some of you are taking back your power from an ex who may have just you just felt like okay they're just not doing it for me Took back your power. This is where that blessing of the new love comes in. There's still an attraction between you and the person on your mind, but they feel like it's been an unfair situation, and so do you. You both have your reasons for feeling like it was unfair. This person, oh my gosh, they want to control you. Their next move is the Emperor in reverse. This looks more like the ex, okay, the person on your mind, because some of you haven't met the new love yet. So they can't be on your mind because they don't exist to you yet, unless you've seen them. But this looks more like someone who wants to control you because they feel that things are not going their way, especially if they see you moving on while they're over here stuck. They definitely are trying to like reel you in, like pull you in, gain control again. So be careful of that. Near future energy. You're going to be re rejecting someone's offer, maybe multiple people's offers, but it looks like you're rejecting this person's offer. Cutting off communication. 
a lot of you um you may still think about them or there may still be feelings there but i see that your head is overpowering your heart i'm hearing my head and my heart i forgot who sings it but it's a new song and i like it. it's not it's not new new but it's speaking about he's singing about how his heart always wins but i really feel like for you aries your mind is winning because i see that you have these the, the feeling for this person but i see that you're rejecting their offer anyways and you're really being patient a lot of you are staying optimistic and saying okay there's better out there for me which i love six of wands oh my gosh see you're probably popping on social media right now or you're going to be you already know that you have so many offers coming your way so i just feel like even if you have feelings for this person you're not really like feeling like they're your only hope and you have to go and forgive them no i see you being patient not giving the wrong wrong people your energy because you know what you have to offer so there's sagittarius there's gemini libra strongly aries any of those signs could be dealing with or could be coming towards you ah, let me look at your spread what's going on with aries what's going on with aries when it comes to love sees you as they see you as controlling too which is funny because they are or they're going to become controlling or feel that way knight of wands reverse okay it could be aries libra same signs are showing up mostly aries and libra the person sees you as controlling always wanting to have your way and i mean if you're single it's your business but they do feel threatened by your strength to move on i feel like this person was hoping that you'd be weak and fall back into them fall back into the relationship with them they feel like the relationship just needs a little bit of work a little bit of dusting and that's it but for you it's like more than that they feel there's unfinished business here they also seem very much attracted to you, to you still and they're they're gonna be feeling hurt about you moving on if you do have a new love coming in they are gonna feel hurt they're gonna feel like they're in a third party situation they're still kind of claiming you position of what you need to know is that you're really healing you're really getting the sores out your back you're really um starting over pulling yourself together and being able to love again and this person's really threatened by that i really feel like they thought you would really take them back you'd fall back into them things would be the way they were let me see why the world in reverse i'm hearing that shy guy song again and i'm also i'm hearing a different part of that song i just sang the, the other part at the beginning i'm hearing the part where she says um every everywhere i go everywhere i go demand them okay let me not say it in part what let me translate everywhere i go the men are rushing me okay it's me they love they love so basically aries i feel like you're really confident right now posting on social media knowing that everybody loves you everybody's liking your pictures and complimenting you so you're like yeah i can have whoever i want why would i take this person back so I'm feeling like you're in this really confident position, which is great. But this person though, they want a new start. They feel like there's unfinished business. They regret how they treated you and being drawn to regret. But for a lot of you, you're just like long gone when it comes to this person. There may be some feelings there. Like you may feel some type of way if you saw them with someone else. But for the most part, I feel like you're more excited about who's next. <laughs> like what's next in love? Um, why the two of pentacles in reverse 
they just feel like there's unfinished business this person feels like they have no other option than you they may have let go of an option if it was a third party situation they're ready to give you their full heart but it might be too late it might be too late for them why the emperor in reverse they feel like they, they see you as a bee, like a complete biatch for like moving on, living your life. Maybe they were a little bit controlling. They may be a little bit jealous of you having this confidence and being popping. Because they're seeing you as like you could really snap at them if they were to reach out. They see you really working on yourself. <laughs> you know, I feel like it's positive that you're working on yourself and you're doing you but they're seeing it as selfish self-centered and all of that because they're just on the other end wishing they had your time wishing you were spending that time with them and not on yourself so they're seeing it in a negative way they're hating because they just feel like it should be about them why the three of swords i just saw 11 11 for y'all's maybe confirmation of something in this read um they're gonna keep trying to reach out they're gonna be hurt so you may just see messages here and there from them even if you're ignoring them they may still try but for a lot of you it doesn't pass that stage of them just trying why the strength card Yeah, they just feel like they wish you were not this independent. It will make it a lot easier for them to come back in. That's what I'm hearing. Your independence and your self-love and everything making it difficult for them. And that's why they hate it so much. Which means this may not even be the person for you because the person for you is supposed to support your glow. Not try to dim your light and pull you back in to a situation that may just keep you tied down and seem like a bird in a cage why the ten of swords in reverse yeah a lot of you are just kind of realizing you may have had an unrealistic um expectation of this person like you may have seen them as more than what they actually are and they turned out to just not be that person who can really be there for you elevate you and love you and commit you may have just seen like the image that they portrayed why the seven of pentacles so their outcome is that they just they're gonna keep waiting for you and it's kind of sad because i feel like a lot of you are not even taking them back at all they may get the point eventually but they this may be a part of their um spiritual growth learning to treat someone and appreciate them the first time around not not have to try again it could be a Leo, Aries. It could be Leo again. It could be Aries again. <laughs> the Emperor and the Strength card is here twice. Um, what's this person's hidden truth when it comes to Aries? I couldn't let you get close to me. So they kept you at a distance, may have breadcrumbed you, and now it's backfiring. I knew exactly what I was doing. Yep, breadcrumbing keeping you at a distance then you straight away now they're trying to reel you back in it's like it's like having a kitten and thinking okay i'm just gonna leave it outside then you come back and it's straight it's gone it's gone to have fun it's gone to explore <laughs> we have it's my fault but i blamed you yep yes thank you i've never seen that card before in that deck that is true. What do we have for Aries? When it comes to their love situation here. Optimism. This is this is the card I was seeing in my head when I was explaining to you that you have this confidence where you're excited for the future. This is the card I was seeing. You are very optimistic about what's next in love. Like who's next? What are they going to look like? You know, and you're fine with waiting on divine timing. I love it. You're fine with it. It's like fun for you. We have euphoria. Yeah, you're just in this good energy. 
Love Aries, what are you what are you smoking? What are you drinking? I want some. You are good as gold. No wonder this person's hating on you so hard. They thought they could keep you at a distance, that you'd stay there, you'll stay put. They obviously don't know nothing about astrology and they don't know about Aries. Because we don't stay nowhere that is boring. We like to have fun. Okay. What do we have for Aries when it comes to love? Chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. This could be the new love. Keep in mind, there's still a new love in the background here. Some of you met them, some of you haven't met them yet. So there may be a strong attraction. You know this because I feel like you're looking for that next hot thing. We have, you deserve love, you are lovable. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Ugh. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. This person wants you to give the relationship a chance. They may be begging you for another chance. You may hear that often from them. Chance, 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 chance. Another chance, second chance. Some of you may have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with them. Others of you may have heart-to-heart -heart conversations with a new person. I'm getting that the new person could be more of the type to open up and actually speak and get deep with you. Like something you wanted whereas this person here they kept you far away kept you at a distance not let you get too close you don't have time for that that's what i'm hearing no time for that to the new love the fact that you have the patience to wait for it in aries we don't have no patience but for some reason you got patience now the fact that you have patience to wait for it and you're being optimistic and you're saying positive that there is love out there that sends out the energy to the universe like yes you're no longer focused on the past. Now they can open up all these options to you and it's gonna be amazing. So Aries, this is what I'm seeing for you. We have Aries energy, Leo energy, the strongest. We have Libra, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo. Those are the main signs. So I hope this was helpful, Aries. Feel free to check your other placements if you wanna know what else is going on. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.